Hello again everyone. I'm going to talk about the density and problem solving. If you remember, I talked about this triangle and I told you I don't recommend you to use that one. But it's up to you if you prefer to use this one. But I'm going to work with another method. It's a little bit more advanced method and it would be helpful to learn that one when you are going to solve other problems in the next chapters. So I'm going to work on the how to calculate volume or how to calculate mass. So first, how to calculate the mass by using density. If you look at this slide, mass can be calculated density times volume. So let me go to the next slide and I'm going to write that one. Mass is D times V. Let me solve one problem regarding that. Calculate mass of an object if it occupies 3.6 ml and having density of 1.9 gram per ml. So I'm going to solve this problem. Please look here. Question says calculate the mass, but there is no unit for this one. I write M question mark. Then it says it occupies 3.6 ml. So I'm going to write that one. Volume is 3.6 ml. And it says consider density 1.9 gram per ml. So I'm going to say that volume reported density is 1.9 gram per ml. I'm going to solve the problems. So whenever you are going to solve the problems, always we need to look at this original number. Original number. So what is the difference between these two? This one, we call that conversion factor. Conversion factor. Because... We have gram ml, two units. We are going to convert one unit to another one. But here we have only one unit. So this one, we call that original number. Original number. So we work on the solution strategy when we have the problems in other videos. I'm going to remind you. So this one is a conversion factor. Always we start to solve our problem by original numbers. So I write 3.6 ml multiple. I'm going to write the conversion factor. Our conversion factor is start to be written like this. ml, we need to rewrite it here one more time. So always ml here. Always the first unit should be written here. Always the original, num original unit must be written here. So ml, I write it here. And I'm going to convert that one to mass. Unit for mass is gram. So look, gram per ml. So the only information we have here for this conversion factor, gram and ml, is the density. Is the density. So I may write 1.9 grams, 1.9 grams per ml, per 1 ml. We already talked about this earlier. So ML and ML cancel out. So the only unit remains here after you calculate that is gram. So it looks we set up our strategy correctly. 3.6 multiple 1.9 divided by 1. If you calculate that one, if you calculate this like me, 3.6 times 1.9, it gives us 6.84 grams. But the last step, the last step, we need to report our answer by 
proper sigfix. Look here, we start our solution strategy by original numbers. Our original numbers has two sigfix, two sigfix, so we need to finish by two sigfix. So two sigfix at the beginning, two sigfix at the end. Always based on the number of sigfix for our original number. So I'm going to report that one by two sigfix. Two sigfix. Look at this number, 6.8. This digit must be dropped. This digit is less than 5, we drop it. So I may write 6.8 grams. 6.8 grams. So the correct answer for this question is 6.8 grams. Right now, I'm going to work on another problem when we are going to calculate volume. So question is like this. How to calculate volume by using density? So if you remember that one from the this slide, volume is mass over the density. I'm going to apply this one. Volume is mass over the density. Let's see how it works. What is the volume in parentheses in ml of a liquid with 3.85 grams and density this is the ugliest density I wrote here density of 5.2 gram per ml question mark so we are going to work on this right now I may ask you to please pay attention I'm going to write the problem in the short format what is the volume in ml what is the volume in ml I write it volume question mark in ml of a liquid with this number 3.85 grams so I write mass 3.85 grams um, how about the next information gram per ml we know that this is the density so we write that density is 5.2 grams per ml all right guys if you remember that i told you the density is conversion factor conversion factor is going to convert gram to ml two units that is why we never start with this one we always start with the number that we have with one unit original number or original number original quantity so we start with this 3.85 grams multiple i need to write the conversion factor always we need to rewrite this unit one more time here because we are going to cancel it out all right it's gram so here and we need to find ml question says how much of this solution how much is liquid so i write ml so look here mass and volume we need to find a relationship between mass and volume this information is coming based on the density based on the density look at the density it says 5.2 grams for grams i write 5.2 look 5.2 grams per 1 ml 1 ml i write it 1 ml so i converted gram per ml to this one because we know that we are going to work on conversion factor do you remember that i told you if we say density is like this it means 5.2 grams is equal to 1 ml so this is the meaning of this 5.2 grams 1 ml and i wrote one of the conversion factors i have so right now grams and grams cancel out 
grams and grams cancel out. So I may write 3.85 times 1 divided by 5.2. And I'm going to calculate 0. 0.74038 something. And unit is ml. Right now, please pay attention. We started our solution strategy by this number, our original number. It has three sig figs. It has three sig figs. So I'm going to report by three sig figs. One, two, three. So look at the digit that we have. So this digit that we need to draw is three. Is less than less than five. So we may report point seven four zero m. I recommend you this method. But as you see here, I divided this number by that number. Both are same. But I do recommend you to learn this method, how to set up our strategy. And please remember, density acts like a conversion factor, like a conversion factor. So the reason I'm going to ask you to work on this, because in the next chapters, we need to use the density to set up our conversion factors. Hope it, this video, it helps you to understand density acts like a conversion factor. And whenever we have any problems like these two, we need to set up the strategy like this pattern. Thank you for watching this video.